guys, and welcome to the new Phasophobia update. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you soon. The Phasophobia Apocalypse major update patch notes are here. Welcome back. We've got an update for you. The long-awaited asylum, asylum overhaul is finally here, along with much, much more. Apocalypse. With custom difficulty, we'd like to invite you to participate in the Apocalypse Challenge. The three players who complete this challenge with the highest multiplier will earn their name in-game on a trophy for everyone to see? What the fuck is this? To enter the competition, complete the following. Start recording or streaming Phasophobia. In single player, crank up the reward multiplier to 15 times or higher. Enter Sunny Metals Mental Institution. Complete all four objectives, four by the way, uh, including the ghost I'm assuming, successfully and take a ghost photo. Scroll through all of the post-game stat screens for us to see. Finally, submit the full game's recording or stream VOD to mod mail in the fans of your Discord. Easy. E-Z. Easy. Actually, wait. The highest multiplier? But like, how high can you go? <laughs> okay, okay, what? Until when? What's, what's the date? Okay, winners will be announced at a later date. Wait, until when? Until when, CJ? How much time do I have? <laughs> I want this. I want this so badly. I want a can everyone just ch chill trophy or something. That's cool. Damn. Mod bail? Okay. I want to know until when. Okay, so you're just not here anymore. Uh, I, all the devs are really, really busy right now. If, if CJ comes back, please ask. Uh, custom difficulty. A new difficulty where you can create your own games. Modify existing difficulties or create your own. Come up with crazy challenges or just have fun. Each option is tied to a reward multiplier so you can still earn money and XE from your custom games. All right. And some, I mean, we're all going to try and get it, right? I don't know. We'll see. I have some world records and speedruns, so I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty confident. I want to get that. Player. Sanity, power restoration amount. Oh, these are all the difficulties you can do. Good luck. Wait, until, until when do I have? Like, how much time do I have? Like, a week? A day? Like, a month? A year? <laughs> I want to know that. I don't, I don't think it's said. Right? I keep on zooming in. It doesn't say until when. Right? A century? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's it's going to be a challenge for generations. Okay, uh, player custom difficulty. I'm gonna play some music. Fuck this. Sanity pill restoration amount. Starting sanity. Let me. I want to move my. Hold on. Let me just move this a bit. I want to like. Do do do. I want to zoom in a lot. Let's do this and then zoom in. There we go. Hmm. Let me just crop. The display capture. I'm a I'm a genius. I'm a streamer. Do, 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 do. There we go. Look at that. Got the lobby in the background too. Okay. Sanity pill restoration amount. Starting sanity. Sanity drain. Speed multiplier. Sprinting use allowance. Sprint recharge time. Sprint duration. Flashlights being broken. So no flashlights. I'm guessing. Losing, losing items on death and player speed multiplier. Okay. I need to stop zooming in. Ghost. Number of evidence given. Chance of changing a favorite room. Interaction amount. Event frequency. Hunt duration. How high can you go with the hunt duration? Wait, I need to change my title. Ah! Patch notes are here okay sorry i'll change my title i need to talk slower oh my god um hunt duration what's the max i can't change my title you piece of shit i have to do it in obs oh my god so sorry youtube this is streamer stuff okay twitch is being very weird today okay is it changed it is cool um, grace period, fingerprint chance, fingerprint duration. Ooh. I'm already thinking of, like, how to make the most money. 
I think fingerprint duration is going to be pretty pog. Just have it on forever and turn everything off and just like get fingerprint photos and hope it's a fingerprint ghost. I don't know. Disable hunt so you can have a friendly ghost like Casper over here. What are the... Um, disable hunts, kills extending hunts, roaming frequency, ghost speed multiplier. Oh boy. Contract, sit up time, weather. Ooh, weather? A Diogen one hour hunt, that's actually torture? Hello? That's torture, that's literally torture. That's, what? <laughs> Number of doors starting open. Interesting. Amount of hiding places. Sanity monitor state, activity monitor state, fuse box max map visibility, fuse box starting state, curse possessions quantity, curse possessions choices. Let's go. 24 hour ghost time. Fuck no. Maybe in phasmo time. Oh! You can save up to three custom difficulty presets. To be honest, I would like way more than three. To be honest, I would love like 10 slots. I would love 10. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to make a custom difficulty to make the most money, to make get the most XP, to fuck around. <laughs> fuck around, fuck around, fuck around, fuck around. <laughs> Three's good though. I, I love that. You can save it. That's, that's really good. All right. New locations. Sunny Meadows Metal, Mental Metal Institution. Mental institution. The asylum has been completely recreated from the ground up. F's in the chat for asylum. No, no, no F's. O sevens. O sevens in the chat for asylum. We played yesterday and we got a uh, world record. Maybe I don't know. Sailor also got a perfect game on Nightmare, so we'll see. We'll see who gets it. But I had lots of fun on Asylum playing with you guys. We did two whole days of community games, only on Asylum. And it was a lot of fun. It's it's a completely different way of playing Phasma. And I think Sunny Metals will also be like this, like that. Um, featuring more distinctive room designs, a morgue, hospital wing, courtyard, and experimental area. Be warned, the ghost will lock each wing's main door when it haunts. So prepare an escape route when you're safe. Wow. Wow. Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. That's very interesting. Damn, okay. Okay, okay, look at this. Cool. Cool shit. Cool beans. So this is Sunny Meadows Mental Institution. This is Sunny Meadows Mental Institution Restricted. Not only a large location, but five small locations in one. The new location selection board allows you to vote to play a smaller, more restricted version of the asylum. Each time you enter, you'll be given a random selection section to investigate with the other sections blocked off or locked. This should help those prefer playing small maps and offer some variety. I love that. Unlocked at level 22. Love that. Love that. That's really, really nice. Okay. Camp Woodwind. Ghost I think I saw something. Uh-oh, ghost types? Uh-oh, what? Okay, Camp Woodwind. A small version of Maple Lodge, camp Maple Lodge campsite. By the way, guys, I'm so bad at like reading out loud, so I'm sorry, but. Featuring a brand new layout and much fewer rooms. Perfect for those looking for a quick outdoor retreat where you get killed by a hantu in seconds. Let's go. You can choose the weather though. Huh, it's interesting. I like the, I like the campfire. Okay, we're gonna explore all of this. Good morning, Mickey. Welcome on in. <gasps> Ghost types! Okay, okay. With the current system, often... Wait, is this the spoiled version? I opened the non-spoiled version. Wait. 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 Hold. Oh, I want the spoiler version? Wait, what do you mean? Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. We saw some stuff, but to be honest, I forgot what I just saw. I didn't really look that much. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Everything's fine. Wait. 
can we look at the spoiled version? Or can we not? I didn't really understand. Um, you can? Okay, 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 okay. So maybe, maybe let's play first and then read the spoilers? I think? Yeah, okay, okay, let's do that. I wanna know! Wait, chat. Chat, which one do you want? Chat can decide, poll. Poll right now. Mods? Mods? New poll? Spoil spoilers or no spoilers? Pull, 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 pull. Pull, 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 pull. Pull, pull. Do it now. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I see a lot of different. I see a lot of different, different people answering differently. You got 2k points. Let's go. All right, chat. You got the poll. How long is the poll? Oh, you guys want it spoiled. You guys want the spoiled version. I mean, it's 25 versus 3 right now. <laughs> okay. I'll read through it and then I'll re reveal it, I think. That's how I'll do it. I'll read through it and then I'll reveal it after. I want to read it without being spoiled first. So I'm going to keep the spoiled version open. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you for the poll. Thank you, thank you. You can close it now if you want. Okay. So we'll read it without the spoils first and then we'll spoil it. With the current system, often when a ghost interacts or throws an object, it barely moves. To remedy this, we've reworked how a ghost throw works to make sure it's impactful, noticeable, and more exciting each time. Okay. Some ghosts have had their abilities and traits tweaked too. All ghosts. All ghosts, all hunting and event sound effects volume will now drop to 0% when at least 20 meters away instead of just being quiet. Oh, damn. Okay. So you literally, like, you're not going to hear anything. Wait, what? No! Okay, well... <laughs> So if you're 20 meters away, you're not going to hear shit. You're not going to hear anything. 20 meters? That's like... That's like one hallway on Asylum. That's going to be hard. Okay, okay. The singing sound caused by the music box playing will now drop to zero when 20 meters away! Throws now have a minimum throw power to avoid small throws. Oh my god, okay. Interesting. So the throws are going to be way more noticeable. Objects are now thrown higher, resulting in much more consistent throws. Pretty damn big. I guess, yeah, for, for, for small maps. But for big maps? Ooh, I mean, it's already, it's already hard to tell. Oh shit, did I move my camera? I did, fuck. My camera, stop moving. Everything's good, green screen's good. Green screen's not good. Green screen's good. It's not good. Oh my god, I hate this so much. I need to get a new camera thingy majiggy. This is why I can't up upload things to YouTube that isn't edited, because I do I do this kind of stuff. Is it, is it okay? I still see it. Fifty-eight. Cool. I still see it. Fuck. Okay, there we go. Cool. Yeah, bigger green screen. Anyways. Um, during hunts, objects are thrown more often. Okay. Okay, cool. Poltergeist. The Oni super throw has been moved to the poltergeist as it is more thematical. Okay. Oni has received additional traits. Demon? Please, did you buff the demon? Did you guys buff the demon? I, please, please, please. 
I want a demon buff. Jin's sanity drainability has received adjustments. Alright. Is there more spoilers? Okay, we can we can look at the spoilers now. Let's look at the spoils real quick. Do 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 do. Throws now have a minimum throw power to avoid small throws. It is now one to three power. It was previously 0 0.1 to 2.5. Okay. 50% chance to throw an object in range every 0 0.5 seconds. Whoa! Whoa, the ghosts are gonna be way more active. Poltergeist, a hundred percent chance to throw an object in range. Oh my god! So like literally, if a poltergeist is hunting, it'll just be <laughs> while it's while it's walking. What? <laughs> Every zero point five seconds, it just goes. <laughs> Oh my god, okay. I like that. That's cool. That's gonna be scary. And that's gonna be that's gonna be like a, a, a new, you know, ability trait that we can use for no evidence challenges if it throws lots of things. Oh my god, okay. The oh what? The poltergeist now has a two to six power throw. Previously zero to five. Shit's gonna be everywhere. It's like it's gonna be a tornado. Poltergeist equals tornado in this new update. Literally. Okay, cool. Oni will now drain double the sanity of a normal ghost during ghost events. Uh-oh. Onis can now be seen for longer periods when flickering during hunts. Interesting! This is the first ghost that is more visible during a hunt. Interesting. Interesting. Because I think most of the ghosts have a normal flickering, and then the phantom is harder to see, and the Diogen flickers more. So now the Oni flickers for a shorter amount of time and is more present for a longer amount of time. Interesting. So yeah, a ghost event for an Oni will now drain double sanity. That's the same thing kind of as a phantom. If you look at it, it drains your sanity. Cool. Demons rare ability to hunt above 70% will now happen more reliably. Let's fucking go! Buff demons! And now we can get destroyed. Let's go! I really wanted this. I really wanted this because I I remember when I first started playing Phasmo, I was so scared of demons. I was so scared because I would constantly get instantly hunted like as soon as I entered the house. And so if I saw if I saw a demon or if I saw the evidence of a demon, I would get scared. But now I don't and I don't know why, but we're going to get destroyed again. Let's go. OK, Jin. The ability will now trigger if you're in the same room or within three meters. Cool. So it's a bigger radius now. The ability will now create EMF at the fuse box. If fuse box, if any player is drained, not just the host. Oh, that was a thing. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right, let's move on. Reporting players. Which I'm going to do a lot I, if I do public lobbies, because <laughs> I, it's really weird, but uh, Phasmo is, is not toxic at all. Phasmo is such a great community. If you play, I don't play public lobbies on any other game. Public lobbies are usually just so toxic, but Phasmo is like, I've had mostly good experiences. I'm not going to report you, Turtle. Hello. I would never report someone for playing a certain way, right? I would never report someone for like their sense of humor, you know, or, or trolling. I would only report someone if they're blatantly racist, which has happened 
sometimes because I have Japanese in my name, but I took it off. But to be honest, just hackers and racist people. That's it. That there's no other kind of like bad people on Phasmo. It's, it's really, really, it's really nice. I've people in chat I've met in public level public public Phasmo lobbies. And it's I love it. It's really good. So reporting players, I hope no one abuses it. And I hope um I can play some more public lobbies. Because they're really fun. Through the in-game journal, players can now report others who they believe are breaking our terms of service. Player dog barking. Player reports will be reviewed by our team and punished accordingly depending on the offense. Bans are progressive and an increase in duration for multiple offenses. Some offenses may start further in the chain than others. Two days, 30 days, seven days permanent. You may also be banned for, uh, from abusing the report system. Yes. Good. To report a player, open the recent players tab and click on the report icon next to the- Okay, so you'll have a recent players. That's cool. Because then you can like look back at who you played with and add them as friends as well. That's cool. If banned, you'll still be able to play single player games. Cool. Nice. New. Uh oh, what? New? Okay. Due to paranormal entities appearing in our base of operations, Ghost Hunting Distribution has moved everyone into a new office! A warehouse has been converted with a shop, new investigation boards, access to the truck, and a staff room. <gasps> if only we could find the key. Ayo. Hey, Hey, yo, okay. Wait, it's 5 p.m. No, I'm 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 fine, right? I'm not tripping, right? The update has not come out yet, right? Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Three more minutes. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is a long up this is long, long. Okay, anyways. Ah Staff room key. Access to truck. I can't wait. Player ID cards. Let's go. Content creator ID cards in the house. A detailed statistics page has been added to the post game screen. Very cool. Very cool. A long term stat tracking page has been added to the journal for various player and ghost stats. Cool. I like that a lot. You will now connect to the last region you're in instead of connecting to the abyss ping. Thank you. The journal is now usable in the main menu room. Thank you. Steam users can now view and add friends to the new recent players drone tab. Thank you! Weekly challenges have been added. More will be added to progression update. Shortcut buttons have been added to jump between the location selection, main menu, and shop screens. Additionally, you can use the keyboard arrow keys for navigation. The whiteboard in the truck has been replaced with a progressively updating investigation board. Cool! So the truck has changed as well a little bit. New collectible cabinets have been added to the lobby. Try to fill them both, collectibles? The first time you use a cursed possession, it'll be added to your collection. Collecting each type of bone will add it to your collection. Some need to be collected twice. We're gonna collect boners, let's go. Collecting boners, okay. <laughs> the shop has been moved to a separate computer in the lobby. Players can now create loadouts for their equipment. Cool. Additional loadouts will be added with the progression update. You can now view daily and weekly challenges in the truck. Cool. Equipment items are now placeable back on the truck's equipment wall. Cool. You can now take photos of new interactions to gain extra rewards. Dots! Used crucifix. Ben, ben Lavender uh, leaked this yesterday accidentally. <laughs> Because <laughs> I had a crucifix and the ghost used it and he was like, take a picture. And I was like, wait, what do you mean? What do you mean take a picture? <laughs> but you can take a picture of the used crucifix now. And dots and the salt pile. The salt pile. Oh, you don't need feet prints. You can take a picture of the actual salt pile. Okay. I'm assuming dots is like going to be easier and longer to see. Because they're, it's really fast. I don't know if I'll be able to take a picture of it. Ghost writing will now display as ghost writing instead of interaction. Cool. Cool. I wonder if you can duplicate. I wonder if the duplicating has been fixed or not. When the ghost attempts to hunt but is blocked by a crucifix, it will now create an EMF2 reading. Ooh. You can use audio cues to hear if the crucifix objective worked. Or if it's not an objective and you're trying to do like a test. Cool. Cool. 
added a house candle to Grafton. Oh! There's candles in Grafton now. Let's go. Uh, voice. VR players will now be seeing a loading screen to help with the loading jitters. Save files. Cool. All right. Are we even, like, anywhere close to finishing this? Changes. Controls for equipment have changed to become cons consistent. If an object is placeable, it will always use a secondary button, button default F. Thank you for the sub, Red Zoro. Thank you for the three months. Um, if an object is usable, it will always use the primary button, default right mouse. So you place... You place objects with F, and you use objects with right mouse now. So when you smudge, guys, you gotta click the right mouse button, okay? Don't die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm probably gonna die. This means that smudge sticks are now used with the right mouse. Don't forget it. Exactly. <laughs> Collecting the bone will now grant more rewards when playing a large maps. Large, medium, small. Let's go, expensive boners. The photo point system has been removed. Instead, players will receive a set amount of money and XP per photo they take. This also allowed us to even out the rewards for photos so that getting a certain ghost type won't become a feels bad moment for what photos you can take. Interesting. So for each three star photo, you get five dollars. Dead body? Dead body? Interaction, fingerprints, footsteps, cursed possession, salt pile stepped in, dots, ghost writing. Dead body? Gives you five dollars for- damn. Whoa. $10 for dirty water. Oh my god, dirty water has been buffed. What? Used crucifix, dirty water, and bone will give you $10 for a three star. What? Okay. $20 for the ghost. Photos are no longer affected by the difficulty multiplier, but with these changes, you'll be getting more money than before. Shit! Wait, Dirty Water is now OP. Are you kidding me? You get seven Dirty Water photos. What? You get the bone. That's $80. You get the ghost photo, that's $100. And you get the cursed possession, $105. Dirty Water! Fuck! A used crucif- So like... Wait, that's fucked. Isn't that fucked? Cause like, if I want to get a perfect, perfect run, if I want to speed run, cause I do a lot, I have to have the ghost near a sink. Or are they gonna change? Are they gonna change the? No, it's most money. Wait, I'm fucked. All speed runs are fucked now. If you do a, prefer a perfect percent run, then you have to get dirty water or crucifix photos because you won't be getting the max. A limit of photos. Okay, maybe actually. Maybe you can only take one. I think they have to change the rules for the perfect percent speed runs. Cause it, yeah, because like this is this is impossible. I think perfect percent they should change it from not the most money you can make, but fuck. What if it's just three star? Three star anything. Cause this is really hard to do, to be honest. If I want to get a perfect run to get dirty water or crucifix. Cause that's the max money, right? I know, Red Zora and me are crying right now. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, the photo priority system has been improved. Oh boy. Items are scored by distance and how close they are to the middle of the photo. The middle of the photo. Oh, okay. Interesting. The top scoring item will give rewards. So you gotta take a, take a nice photo, huh? The curse position isn't worth it. Yeah, exactly. Like you just don't take these photos anymore if you want to get a perfect game by having the max money. You don't take any of this. You just take this. 
But I'm hoping that they'll change the rules because that's a little bit boring. A little bit hard to do. Um, the play... Ghosts will always take priority. Very cool. No more no more bone photos that photobomb my ghost photos. The reliability of the system has been improved. This also means that you'll always get interaction photos before fingerprint photos. <gasps> you'll always get interaction photos before fingerprint photos. Interesting. Okay. But now fingerprints and interaction photos are the same. Hmm. Okay. I kind of liked that fingerprints costed more. Because they would like disappear after some time. I guess interactions are also hard to get, huh? That makes sense. I'm pretty sure I, I'm guessing you can take a crucifix photo for each bite. Yeah, you can't use a photo cam to find fingies unless you... Yeah, that's basically it, huh? Cool. The placement highlight mechanic has been reworked. You will only see the highlight when holding down your designated place placement key. F and release to place. Oh, okay. So you'll only see the highlight to place something down when you hold the key down. Ah. And then moving your mouse left to right will rotate the object. You can now place and rotate the tripod. Ah, okay. I'm gonna have to get used to these keys. Various equipment's placeable areas have been adjusted. The fuse box has a new design. It has, it's like the big, the big lever thingy. Sanity drain for hide and seek is now zero. Oh, you don't get your sanity drained if you do hide and seek. Interesting. The key in the truck has been moved to, to the key in the truck has been moved to hang next to the door keypad instead of on the desk. No more, no more failing the key. Oh, that's just Sunny Meadows. Okay. And some was saying shit, and I was like, wait, what? Okay, cool. Got you. So there's a new, there's a new, there's a new. Oh. Okay, 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 okay. We need to go fast, guys. We have so much more to go. Okay, fixes, that's it. Cool. I gotta upload this to YouTube. Hi, YouTube, by the way. Um, Come join us on Twitch. We're playing right now. <laughs> the key in the truck. Increase rewards for daily challenges. Increase the rewards for a dirty water photo to the same rewards as fingerprints. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, what? Fingerprints got nerfed and Dirty Water got buffed. Ignore that, okay. <laughs> Rewards for playing on medium and large mats have been increased. You can now view 10 photos in the lobby room. Nice. You can view all the photos now from your previous game. To improve performance, objects will no longer render when behind closed doors. Cool! No more bone, bone photo bombing photos. <laughs> Adjusted the visuals for skyboxes for each weather set. They're more realistic. Cool. Improved heavy rain and snow effects and performance. Okay, so no more crashing on maple. The main menu options screen has been removed and is now accessible only in the journal. Added screen space reflections to the journal options. Some locations have been renamed. When dead, players can now see doors, but will walk through them. Cool. You can see the doors now. The volume of the guitar being played and, and camping stone tall will have been lowered. Thank you. It's so loud. The, the guitar is so loud. And I, I kind of liked it, but yeah. Thank you for that. The, the stove as well was insanely loud. Bling. Ghosts will no longer see you through the trees by cabin in the Maple Lodge. Thank God. Ghosts can no longer set these rooms as its favorite in Maple Lodge campsite. Entrance, central path, north path. Cool! What about the smaller map, though? Rebaked occlusion in Maple Lodge campsite, which may improve performance. The journal default button on a gamepad is now select. Any gamepad users in here? <laughs> Small map is completely different. Okay. Oh, so there might not be any like... Okay, okay, okay. We gotta check it out. Uh, room names for the sound sensors will now be in the room they're placed in instead of the room you were standing in when you placed it. Cool. That was a thing, I didn't know that. 
Candles will now extinguish when placed into your inventory. No! No, I have to bring a lighter. I have to bring a lighter now. No! No! Give give us more inventory slots. God damn it. Fuck. Okay. Well. <laughs> rip. Ghosts now use the sprinting footstep sound when hunting on dirt floors. Thank God. No more rolling in the dirt. <laughs> Reduced RAM usage. Several light bloom values. Adjusted campfire particles and bloom. Fixes! Fixed long distance roams. Chances now 30% when wandering, 20 and 10. Hopefully no more insane roaming. <laughs> Rip. Fixed ghost changing favorite room's chance. If a ghost long roams and ends up in a new room, there's a chance of it changing to that room. Okay. Do a check based on insanity. Thirty percent sanity equals seventy. Oh, uh, okay, interesting. So if you're at zero sanity, <laughs> the ghost's gonna be zooming. <laughs> wait, wait. So this is this is just high is thirty percent. So the chance for it to long distance roam is already low, I'm assuming. But if it does, then. Your sanity will determine how much of a chance there is for it to stay in that room. Is what I'm guessing? Hmm. Uh-oh. Okay. Goryeo will not have half the chance of other ghosts. Thank you. Instead of double. Thank you. <laughs> Myling will now decrease the audible range of its hunt audio. Instead of only footsteps. Okay. So everything will be quiet. Oh boy. That's scary. That's very scary. If you have less than 16% sanity when light when lighting the last summoning circle, the ghost will now hunt instantly after being summoned. You guys better be careful when you play with me, okay? You guys better be careful, okay? Someone someone on community games was lighting the summoning circle over and over again. And I almost yelled at, yelled at them. <laughs> Uh, fingerprints on camping lamps will not be the correct size. Okay. You can no longer place objects on the truck ceiling. No! No more candle chandelier. Sag. Sag. Fixed a rare issue when the voice recognition will not work. Yes. Picking up a tripod with a camcorder attached by someone else will no longer break the camcorder. Thank you. You're no longer unkillable when hiding under stairs or smoke. Back. Fuck. So where the fuck do you hide in high school, huh? There's no hiding spots in high school. Right? Just run? I guess it's the same for Asylum. That's fun, though. I don't know. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> uh, the hiding spot next to the cabin will no longer get killed. Thank you. Grafton's upstairs locker cannot be blocked. Ooh. Ooh, Bleasdale's workshop locker cannot be locked. Ooh. That's rough. Having alt as your push talk button will no longer keep your voice active. Okay. The toilet upstairs in Edgefield can now flush. Let's go. Ghosts will no longer affect the living room collider. What's that? When standing on the basement stairs in Tanglewood. What's a collider? Is that a corridor? Or... Collide? Invisible box. Collider. Collider. Oh. Duh. English? Okay. I don't know what that means, but... Okay. I don't know what that means, but uh, uh, it's fine. That's fine. Thank you, chat. <laughs> you can no longer glitch behind small tents. RIP! The mirror will no longer stop attempting to do its light switch ability after you use the light switch several times. Oh, that was a thing? Okay, interesting. 
Doors will no longer spin when closed for a hunt. All right, that's it. That's the patch notes. I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry that it took so long and I was doing lots of stuff, but I hope you enjoyed the video. We are gonna be playing the new update for a long time. So if you're seeing this right now and it's the same day, come on over to Twitch, join us. I'll also be posting more videos about the maps, everything that I can find. So subscribe if you want to, it's free. And I'll see you soon. Bye, bye YouTube. I don't know how to do this. Bye. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do this. I'm not instant. Thanks.